In this edition of Highlights in African American Studies, we will be focusing in on Shirley Chisholm, who was elected to Congress on November 5, 1968. Shirley Chisholm became the first African American woman elected to Congress. The current U.S. Congress has the most women in history and it is the most racially diverse. However, 50 years ago, there was only one woman of color in the U.S. Congress. That was Shirley Chisholm. She was elected to Congress in a historic victory in 1968. Shirley Anita Chisholm was born on November 30th, 1924 in Brooklyn, New York, to immigrant parents in the Caribbean region. She earned her Bachelor of Arts from Brooklyn College in 1946, where she won prizes for her debating skills. She was also a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. In 1969, Chisholm delivered an important speech, and this is what she said. So often nowadays, we hear people say that we should go back to Africa. Our roots are here. Our blood and our sweat and our tears are here. And we're going to stay here and we're going to fight. In 1972, Chisholm decided to run for president. When she announced she was going to run for president, Chisholm said, I am not the candidate of black America, although I am black and proud. I am not the candidate of the women's movement of this country, although I am a woman and I'm equally proud of that. I am the candidate of the people and my presence before you now symbolizes a new era in American political history. Throughout her political career, Chisholm fought for education opportunities and social justice. In 1983, Chisholm left Congress and her political career to teach. Sally, Shirley Chisholm died in Florida in 2005, but will always remember her paramount place in U.S. history.